Hi, I'm Kirsty Meeking from Nao Nails. In this series of videos, it's going to be all inspired by Banksy, who is a super famous graffiti artist who I really like. He does quite controversial images, but his artwork is just absolutely brilliant. So the first one we're going to do is the girl in the balloon. So for this design, I've already got a natural overlay with acrylic and then we've applied white on in the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish range. I have top coated that as well with your base and top Urban Graffiti. So it's shiny at the minute. I've taken off the sticky layer. We have a shiny top coat, but what I'm gonna do is mat it off because it makes it a lot easier to paint. Basically the paint will stick to the nail a lot easier. It'll flow nicer on the nail. I don't want it too shiny because it will literally just run, it won't go where I want it. And also when you come to top coat it, it'll have more chance of peeling. And we don't want the artwork that we've put onto these nails to peel at all. So I'm just dusting over those and I'm also going to wipe over with the gel residue wipe off solution to make them all nice and clean. I don't want no oil from my skin to be on the nail because that will interfere with the paint and also the top coat. I'm gonna start off with some paint. So some acrylic paint. I'm gonna pop it onto the foil palette that I like to use. It's just basically foil wrapped round a glass coaster. Got some black and white. So for this background, I'm going to start by distressing it so it looks more like a wall. Because we're doing Banksy's graffiti, we want the background to look like a wall as well. We're not going to draw every individual brick but we're just going to distress the background first. So I'm going to get a sponge. I want you to just cut up. You can use any sponge, but we just want to cut a little piece off. And then we're going to use the corner. And I want you to go into your black paint. And you're going to use that to stipple over the nail. So can you, it's only a tiny bit, but it's just going to distress the nail a little bit and give it some texture. I'm mainly going round the outside of the nail. And then what I'm going to do is make a grey wash. So a bit of black, a bit of white, some water. I'm just going to add a little bit more black, just to deepen it a little bit more. With this wash, I'm going to use it like a watercolour. I'm just feeding it round the edge of the nail. This will frame the nail, but it'll also add to the effect of it being a wall and being distressed. This does not need to be perfect. That's the beauty of doing a design like this. Using the same wash and a detailing brush, I want you to do very faint lines going across and we'll do some staggered lines down just so you've got the effect of a wall. You don't need these to be perfect, they just need to be very slight. Now with the black, a little bit of water and I have got a smaller brush here as well. This is a a little nail, so everything needs to be reduced down in size. I'm going to start with the girl first. I've not got loads of paint on this brush, you can see on my thumb there's not loads because I'm just going to map out a little bit first. Done a shadow of a leg, skirt, arm. To you that might look like nothing but to me in my head I can see that I've planned exactly where that's going to fit. I can go straight on and do this balloon in the red. It's a heart shaped balloon, it's got a little piece of the heart missing. So you've got the heart there and I'm just going to do with the tail of the balloon. I'm just brightening that red up a little bit by applying a little bit more red. Now with the black paint and I've gone to a slightly bigger brush, 
but we can still get a fine line with the tip of this brush you can see on my thumb so I don't want the paint too watery at the minute and it's a silhouette of the gear so you can see when I want a lot of color I press on quite hard so the harder you press on the thicker the line and then the lighter you touch with the brush it'll be a lot more delicate and we've got our arm coming up here like this as if it's reaching out to the bloom or as if it's letting go of the bloom let me come up to her head here now and the wind's actually blowing her hair forward so the wind's blowing her hair this way and also blowing the balloon this way so that's something you can't you can't just think oh i'll put her hair blowing a different way but it, it'll just ruin the effect of the actual image it'll make it not realistic so i've gone back to this tiny brush now and i'm going to use some of the white and i'm just going through and making sure we've got all the white sections in so you can see that's a reflection of her arm and her hand and this is me being super picky. So all I've done is basically googled some of Banksy's work, done a little bit of research on the different images that I want to do. This is quite a popular image and this image represents hope. Probably a little bit of white where the, um, the heart is a missing piece. So I think I'm happy with that, she says, and I've just seen a little piece and I'm not... Ah, oh, spare. <laughs> <laughs> that one little bit made, did make a difference, promised it did. So now that's all dry, we're going to encapsulate all of this artwork with the top coat. And we're going to put two coats on. Make sure you go right to the edge. So I need to take my time while I do this. And because it's a clear brush, I can see exactly what I'm doing and where it's going, which is nice. So I'll cap the edge. I'm going to pop that into the LED lamp for one minute. Now it's come out of the lamp, I'm going to wipe over with the gel residue wipe off solution, take away that sticky layer and finish off with a little bit of cuticle oil. That's a Banksy design finished. With the girl and the balloon check out the other videos for more banksy designs